So we're going to try and make some game burgers. We've got squirrels and pigeons in here to make the burgers out of. Um, some, some old minced beef. Yeah, old minced. But before you start, you gonna have a sharp knife. Okay, these are out of the freezer. They've been in the freezer for a while. If anybody's got any secrets about how to freeze pigeon without it uh, going black, we've had some problems with, with it actually going off in the freezer. We don't quite know why that is. Oh, sharp now. Okay, let's cut a few more of those up. Five, five, four, in there. Yeah. As far as air miles go, these are fantastic because these are just shot in the garden. So air miles, zero. By 30 yards. Zero. Okay, we don't want it. We don't want it mush. We want some sort of uh, semblance of meat left. So that's probably enough. Yep. <coughs> okay, so in goes the pigeon. A lot of meat there. We're going to mix it in with some minced beef. In this case, we're probably about using. I don't know, a third minced beef to two thirds pigeon. <coughs> Not sure how much pigeon shrinks. We'll keep that. We've got the, some squirrels today, so we'll keep that for the squirrel. We don't muck about too much with with seasoning. So pretty straightforward. Just a whole ruck of mixed herbs. Chuck those in. Never measure. And then salt. Not too much. And then a good healthy, healthy cracker pepper. And mix it up. Could put it in the blender, but it'll, it'll mush it even more. So I don't want to. I don't want to make it any more mushy than it is now. Okay, being game burger, it's not going to be something you buy from the supermarket so you're going to get little bits of strings of sinew get out what you can but at the end of the day it's part of the bird so that's the way it is and we're going to try just a short little dash of olive oil mix that in that'll uh, actually make it a bit wetter but it sticks together Nice big, nice big ball. Okay. What we're going to do now is uh, split them up into burger-sized portions because they need to go in the burger press. So we need them to save people squabbling. You want them as much similar size as possible. It's a bit of guesswork, but I think that's about the size that the, that the press is going to take. I don't know when you're going to get out of this, maybe eight. There's a little bit on the small side, we'll pinch a bit off another one. How much you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, great. Okay, this is a very simple uh, burger maker. We bought this at a car boot or something. This one's from uh, Lakeland. Burger maker it doesn't make that. <laughs> it presses the presses the burger meat. Really simple to use. I mean, that's all it is. That's all it is. You can see the plunger works on the inside like that. And you need to buy a pack of these. This one comes in 500 500 wax discs for a burger press. Again, from Lakeland. Don't know what they cost. Um, okay, so one in the bottom. 
burger in the middle. I've got that wet over, don't matter. One piece piece of wax paper in the top. Put it together. Firm squeeze. And all being well. That's what's your burger. When you cook it, you obviously just take that off. And there's your lovely burger. Okay, one piece of wax paper in there. Piece of wax paper in there. One on top of the other. And squeeze. There you go. Just uh, fill it in this squirrel. Where's the pellet room? Um, in the bin. Is it? Oh, we just found the pellet. That's the. Uh, that's what the vermin pell did. Straight through him. One little pellet. Anyway, they're a pain. They're an absolute pain to uh, to get all the meat off. They should be cooked before they're uh, before they're skinned. Before, not before they're skinned. They should be cooked before they're unmeated. Now we've uh, we've gone through the squirrel. Oh, we've blended it, and then we're going through just to pick out the sinew. Squirrels are so sinewy, and uh, anything that doesn't look like it's going to be particularly edible, we'll just take it out. Okay, we put these. Uh, these are much smaller than the pigeon ones we know. Pigeon tastes really good. Squirrel, maybe a bit more of an acquired, acquired taste. So we've made these a lot smaller, which means they come out a lot thinner. And uh, so there's nice delicate little squirrel burger but I think we're going to call them not squirrel burgers vermin pâtés <laughs> squirrel pigeon what do you think of your pigeon burger? So we tried the squirrel burgers, they weren't too nice, they tasted like they smell when you're skinning them. So what we've decided to do is add some more herbs, more apple, um, perhaps some onions, breadcrumbs. Four people ate the squirrel burgers, one person thought they were okay, one person liked them and the other two didn't. Um, Did you like them Ru? No. <laughs> um, the pigeon burgers were lovely, but we're going to bulk them out, try a new recipe with breadcrumbs and onions. We've still got some pigeons and a couple of squirrels left in the freezer, so we're going to try and make a game hot pot with a Dutch oven on the fire. We enjoyed making the burgers, we learnt a lot, and we hope you enjoyed the video.